Okay, in this video today we're going to look at Pratt-Formants. Formants are a kind of acoustic resonance of the human vocal tract. And so we can look at formants to see differences between speech sounds, especially we usually use formants to look at differences between vowels, but we can also look at formants for uh, differences between things like L and R. Uh, so the word light and right uh, have different formants for the L sound and the R sound. So uh, what we'll do is first uh, we'll record uh, mono sound and we'll have a look at some of the uh, formants of that. Heat, hit, hate. So I've just recorded three words and if we look at those three, let's just cut uh, some of the space in between these words. I'm using uh, cut uh, in the edit menu here. Okay, and let's play that. Heat, hit, hate. Okay, and what I'll do is I'll uh, turn off the pitch uh, so that I have no colors here at all. And now I can look at the formants by showing the formants from the formant menu here. And if I do that, I can see that here in the vowel sound of heat, you can see the formants for E sound. So uh, down here is F1, up here is F2, and F3, formant 1, formant 2, formant 3. Okay, so E, 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 that's what it sounds like. I can click the cursor in the middle of the screen here, uh, in the middle of the vowel here for E, and I can get some information on the values of the formant. So for example, if I get first formant, um, it comes back with this, so 200, about 226 hertz is my first formant for E. Uh, let's see what the second formant is. So the second formant is about 2456 hertz, and the third formant is 3,107 hertz. Um, I can get a listing of all the formants. It might be an easier way uh, here uh, if I go to formant listing. And this shows me that at the time, 0 0.3735455 seconds, that's this time on the screen here. At this time, F1 is 225.7. 759380 hertz, so 226 hertz. F2 is 2456 hertz. And F3, these are not lining up very well because the decimal points are so long. But F3 is 3107 hertz. Okay, and it goes on. F4 is this one over here. Now, for speech, for the vowel sounds, now the two most important formants are F1 and F2. Okay, the, with F1 and F2, we can differentiate between the diff the various vowels of of English and of Japanese, uh, the two languages that we're focused on in class. So uh, let's let's look at uh, a, another vowel. So the first one was heat, and then I said hit. So let's let's check out hit and see what the difference is. Here is the formant value 225, 226, and 2456. That's for E. Here is hit, 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 hit. So if I click in the middle of hit somewhere, Somewhere where the formant is clean, it's kind of broken up uh, down here, you can see. So somewhere where it's clean, I'll click right about here. And let's check the formant listing for this. So here I have 409, uh, 410 hertz for F1. That's much higher than the 226 hertz that I had for E. So I can see F1 is different. And if I look at F2, uh, F2 is much lower for hit than it was for heat. Okay. And the same for uh, hate. Uh, hate, hate. 
I can see that the formant is moving here. The formant, second formant is increasing as I move through this vowel because this is a diphthong. It's a, a, in Japanese, niju byoin, niju poin. And uh, so this, this sound is a, a, and the tongue is moving, the jaw is moving during this sound. So the formants are changing as well. Okay, so that's a little bit about formants. Now, if we want to use a script to measure the formants, then we need some kind of formant object. Just like when we wanted to measure pitch or do something with pitch in a script, we needed to go to pitch, analyze period periodicity and go to pitch. That created a kind of pitch object here, pitch untitled, okay? Just the same if I select the sound file and I go to uh, go to analyze spectrum and then to formant Berg. Okay, if I do this, I get a formant object that I can analyze and use in a script. So if I do that, then I use the default values here. Uh, by the way, I can change this. Here's the maximum formant, uh, 5,500, uh, default for adult female. If I uh, want to change this a little bit lower, I can for a male, uh, for example, 5,000. And I can choose the maximum for number of formants, uh, but I'll leave it at five, and I'll leave the window length uh, the same at uh, 25 milliseconds. So let me click OK, and this formant object is created here. Okay, and now I can use query, just like I did with pitch and just like I did with intensity. I can use query to ask questions, get values at different times for different formants. Okay, so I can use this in a script to get the values and print out the values of different formants, formant 1, formant 2, formant 3, and so on. So, uh, for example, uh, if I want to get the value at time, what it's going to ask me is, which formant number do you want the value for? Number 1, number 2, number 3, up to 5. And what time exactly do you want the formant value for? Okay, so if I look back at my sound here and I wanted to measure if I wanted to measure E sound in heat that's about right here okay so let's say 0.376 seconds so 0 0.376 and um, let's say yeah let's measure formant 1 and remember we measured it before and it was around 226 Hertz so let's see what happens here oops because I've selected the sound now to get this picture here, it uh, it doesn't like that. I need to select the formant object to make sure that uh, this menu option here is working. So if I do that, you can see that right here, at this time, 0.376 seconds, formant 1 is 260 hertz.